Barnes & Noble, the largest bookstore in the nation, has announced its high hopes for the success of its Nook tablet have proven to be inaccurate, to say the least. In a press release, the company admitted a great loss on the sales of its Nook tablet for the third quarter in 2013, much greater than in 2012 with revenue falling under the projected $3 billion. The Verge reported back in 2012, Barnes & Noble's fourth quarter results showed Nook tablet sales fell by 11%. In the New York Times notes, before Barnes & Noble launched its Nook tablet, William Lynch, the company's CEO, had great expectations for the device, and the future of the bookstore hinged on going digital. Last year, he told the newspaper, had we not launched devices and spent the money we invested in the Nook, investors and analysts would have said, Barnes & Noble is crazy, they're going to go away. So what went wrong? A digital approach would seem to be the right direction for any company, especially in this day and age. Aside from trying to keep up with Apple's iPad, Lynch claimed much of the underperformance is to blame on the holiday sales. Nook device sales got off to a good start over the Black Friday period, but then fell short of expectations for the balance of holiday. We are examining the root cause of the December shortfall in sales and will adjust our strategies accordingly going forward. And a source familiar with Barnes & Noble's strategy told the New York Times adjusting strategies could mean they are not completely getting out of the hardware business, but they are going to lean a lot more on the comprehensive digital catalog of content. Barnes & Noble announced it will release its report for the third quarter earnings on February 28th. Bloomberg reports the company's shares have lost more than half their value in five years, closing in at $13.51 on February 22nd. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey. Multiple sources, a broader view.